Hello, I'm Joe Bloffus, Precision Ag Consultant for CNB Operations. I cover the Jackson, Truman, and St. James stores. Today we're going to be talking about boundary creation. A boundary creation can be done with either a gator or a tractor, combine, many different options. Usually during winter time, a lot of people do it with a gator. Today we decided to use a tractor because we had this available here at the Jackson store. So let's hop in the cab and we can go over a few of the options and show you how to run boundary creation in this tractor. We are right next to the Jackson store and we are going to first check our RTK signal. So we're gonna go into the receiver up at top and go to our 6000 receiver. We're going to go to the globe itself, the receiver, and check to see if that we have 3D RTK, 100% accuracy, 100% GPS signal. We can check also if we do not have an OK status, we can actually go to configure and change our network ID, which we are correct on that. We'll go to vehicle, radio channel number one, network ID 4020, which is correct. Go ahead and enter. And that is a success. So now we can go ahead and start mapping our boundary. Okay, now we're going to add a boundary. To add a boundary, I have set up a button right down below here under the menu button where we can actually go to our layout manager and under our shortcut bars, we can edit and we can add the boundary function right there to add a new boundary. So if we go back and go to boundary, and we're gonna create a driven boundary since we're in the tractor. So we go to create driven boundary, go to okay. And here we're going to go off of a GPS offset point. So as you can see, we're, we're centered at zero, but we have the boundary or the edge of the field on our right hand side. We're gonna switch off to the other side. We'll actually add five feet roughly, but you would actually measure from the center of the receiver out to the edge of the field or where you think the edge of the field is about. And then it's on the left hand side, but the edge of the field is on the right. So we will then switch to the right hand side. So we're out roughly five feet. Usually we would get out and measure something like this, but we'll do this for recording purposes today. We'll go to the start recording. Now you can tell that it is recording here. So we can put it in drive and we will go ahead and move forward. And we'll speed up a little bit. And as you can see, the pink line shows that it is creating a boundary around the whole field, right there. Now at any time, if you wanted to, we can pause that line and it's paused. So it saved that point back there. And as you can see, it doesn't show the pink line anymore. But once we hit record again, that then comes about. So you can drive, you can set a point at one corner of the field and you know that the edge is all the way straight, you can then go to the other end of the field and click record again, and it'll set that straight line across and you will not have to drive that whole edge of the field. So as we can go around here, we'll, we can see that we're recording and we will go ahead and turn and we're gonna do a small field here today. always going to have two points and then when we get to the end we can close that close that center so now we're back at our starting point it's still recording as you can tell we can actually save this now and there's our boundary boundary saved for activated for use so we can actually look at that whole line here it shows the whole thing here so remember when we're actually out in the field too we can use the flag function also. We can set flags and we can set different ones. We can edit and say we have rocks and we have, and we can also put either the area of it, the line, or just a point. 
We can also do weeds. Or tile. We can actually add a category. So now we can click the flag and say we have rocks in this area. And then we have a flag where it shows rocks. This can later be used with John Deere Operations Center and with the mobile app and go back out and check for rocks or weeds and follow up if somebody else is in the field and put the points in. Somebody else in the operation could go back out and check those areas there. Okay, now we're done with the field. What are the big advantages of boundary creation? Some of the big ones would be saving time, getting into your fields, and getting the work done in a timely fashion. How does boundary creation save you money? Well, with the boundaries created, you can now come back and use section control for your planter. So during section control, you can save yourself money, such as inputs on fertilizer and seed. Thanks for joining us for Tech Days 2021 here in Jackson, Minnesota. I'm Joe Bloffus, Precision Ag Consultant for CNB Operations.